Hi, in this video, I will show you how to remove Ubuntu from dual boot Windows 10 on UEFI mode. Before we start, to stay up to date with my latest videos, please make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button above this video, and please stay tuned until the end of this video so you don't miss any steps. Let's get started by removing the Linux partition in Windows. For that, you will start Windows 10 and open File Explorer and right-click on this PC then click on the Manager. Click on Disk Management. Since you installed Linux, it'll be easy for you to recognize the Linux partition by its size. And Windows partitions can be identified by the drive label such as C, D, and E. They are also usually FAT or NTFS files. Now click on the Ubuntu partition you want to delete. Right click, and click on Delete Partition. If you find that the Extend Volume option is grayed out or disabled in Disk Management Tool in Windows the 7th of August 10, the Windows Operating System lets you extend any volume provided there is free or unallocated space on its right side. If there is no unallocated space, you will not be offered this option and it will appear grayed out. To solve this problem I will prepare the next video to show you how to extend volume with the option as grayed out or disabled in Windows 10. You can find it on the eye of the top right. In this important step, you will delete the Ubuntu UEFI entry from the Windows Advanced Startup. For that search startup in the search icon and click on the Change Advanced Startup option. In Advanced Setup click on Restart Now. You will find that even though you have uninstalled your Ubuntu operating system, the Ubuntu bootloader still exists. This is because the Ubuntu system files stay on the disk where you installed Ubuntu and deleted it in the previous step, but the files of the Grub bootloader are kept in the EFI partition. The next step will be to delete the Grub bootloader files from the EFI partition. You can easily change the order of boot on BIOS and boot on Windows 10, but the Ubuntu Grub bootloader will not be deleted. For clearing Grub, you must boot on Windows Advanced Startup. Choose Troubleshoot then Advanced Options. And now Command Prompt. Type disk part. Type list disk. And find the disk number on which Windows is installed. In my case, Windows disk is disk 0. After that, type select disk, and the number of Windows disk. Now type list volume. To list the part volume of the corresponding disk. Find the number of your EFI system partition. You will see a 256 megabytes or 100 megabytes partition and her info is hidden. Type select volume, and the number of EFI system partition, in my case, is volume 1. Type assign letter equals M, to assign a letter drive. Type exit to close disk part. Now type the letter you gave to the disk you just created and add a colon, then press enter. In my case as M. 
Type CDFE to enter on the FE folder. Then type DIR to list the contents of the folder. You will now see a list with the name of the Linux distribution, Ubuntu, Fedora, Manjaro, you installed. This is the folder we want to delete. Now type RD Ubuntu slash S to delete it. In the end, type exit and reboot your PC. Congratulations! You have deleted Ubuntu or any Linux distribution you are using from your computer along with its bootloader. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment. Make sure to subscribe, so you don't miss out on my future videos.